Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a um, subform uh, for your database project. I've got a, um, let's go to the relationship view, it's here. This is my uh, database. I've got a table for customers, I've got a table for the bookings, I've got a table for products, and I've got a linking table which um, allows me to record for each booking how, what, you know, what products are purchased. Uh, the products in this case are simply helmets, gloves and bikes and they have different costs attached to those. So we want to create a subform that allows um, a user to enter the details of a booking. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we're going to start off by creating a query. The first uh, element to this is using the query design. So we're going to click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our tables that we want. So in this case, it's all of them. So we're going to add the customer, then the booking, then the booking product, and then the products. We'll close that down. Now we add the fields that we want. So uh, we want customer ID, the first name, the last name, the booking ID, the booking date. We also want the product ID. I'm going to take the product name from the products table, the cost, of that product, we'll just scroll across. Okay, and we're also going to then take the quantity. Now, if we run that, we can see that it actually gathers information about the um, the products which have been purchased, which is fine. That's working. So I'll close that down, and we're going to save it. I'm going to call it QRY, um, and we're going to call it uh, Booking Form, and we're going to click on OK. The next step is to create the actual form itself. So we go to create and we're going to go to form wizard. And we're going to make sure we select the query uh, as our basis. We're going to add all those fields and click next. I want to use the booking table for this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. On the right hand side, we've got uh, the way it would kind of look. So we've got the information about the customer and the booking ID and the booking date. And then a little sub form here which uh, holds the information about the products that they want for that particular booking. So that's exactly what we want. Feel free to take a look at the other ones, but in this case, it is the booking table that we want. Um, we want it to be a, a form with a sub form. We don't want a linked form because uh, that would mean you click on a button and it shows another uh, form, but we want it to be a form within a form, kind of inception style. We click next. Uh, in this case, I want it to be tabular. Um, and that's an important aspect that will save us time later on. Um, if you do data sheet, you can turn it back into a tabular by messing around with the, the headers and things, but um, you want it tabular. So click next. Um, the form, I'm going to call it uh, FRM for form uh, for both of these. So FRM. And I'm just going to open it up straight away just to check that it works. Okay, so straight away I can see, if I just hide that a little bit, <coughs> I can see that I've got my booking ID, uh, my customer ID here, my f first name, last name, booking ID, and the date of the booking, and it's put in the details of my booking. Okay, um, It's not laid out very well, it never does that, but um, all we need to do is go to database tools, I think, no, where is it, home, home, there we go, and design view. Um, now, I want to just, let's make a bit more space, there we go. So I'm going to delete this little bit of information here, and I'm going to move this across. Let's hide this as well, give ourselves a bit more space. Okay, um, and I'm going to bring this across like so. Uh, we'll scroll down a little bit, and just give ourselves a little bit more space. Now. Um, I'm going to shove these things, um, well, we need to arrange them slightly. So let's raise that slightly. Ooh. Okay, we'll move those up. Scroll across. Move these ones up as well. And then bring this up. Okay. And what we want to also do is... Um, adjust these uh, fields so they don't take they're not taking up so much space 
that's my product name. Scroll across, take these ones, move these across, and adjust the size. Scroll across and do the same with these ones. So we'll move those across as well. And before I add, do anything more to this, I just want to just check um, that it views properly. So now we can see that the information fits in like we wanted to. Now what we want to do is, um, well, I can show you how this works now. We can add another product. So one of the products is three. That's the bike, it's 10 pounds, and I'm gonna have three, uh, three bikes for that. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to say, okay, well, how much do, how much is the helmet going to cost me? So I've got two of those, so it should cost me six pounds. Gloves, I've got two, so that's going to be four pounds. I've got three bikes, that's 30 pounds. Um, so we can work out that the total is going to be 40, but we need to work this stuff out. So what we need to do is add an extra field here called subtotal, which subtotals each of these costs. Um, and the way to do that is we go back into the design view. So I've clicked on home, back to the design view. Um, I just want to bring this thing up a little bit, oops, if it lets me, there we go, I'll bring that up, uh, that will have, that will make it have, oops, uh, less space between the uh, items, this is a little bit neater. Um, so let's go back into the design view. The uh, next step is to click on this little square in the corner here, and when it goes to a little black square, we can go up here and we can go to this three dotted icon. Uh, if you don't have the property sheet, I should show you how to get that up. If the property sheet isn't there, just simply go to, let's just make this a little bit larger again. Under design, go to property sheet, and then you can click on those icons. All right, so what we want to do is we want to add a, um, a new field. So in this case, the field I'm going to call subtotal. Okay, use uh, the colon, and using square brackets, we're going to call these fields. So one is cost. Multiply it by, again using square brackets, the quantity. So Q and T Y in this case. And I'll just make that a little bit wider so you can see. Okay, so that's my new field, and the new field is called subtotal, and it's generated by multiplying the cost by the quantity. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as, and I'm going to call this QRY um, sub form booking. Okay, and click OK. Close that. Any messages that come up saying, yeah, just read it. I'm just going to click yes. And what I need to do now is add that new field to my sub form. So the way you do that is to go to design and add a text box. Now I'm gonna add the text box into this uh, white area, the detail section first. Um, and then I will take this text element section and I want to cut that out. Oops, let's make sure I did it properly. You wanna make sure that one's selected, then cut that one out. and then paste it into this top one, the form header. And I'm going to call that subtotal. Now this bit doesn't matter what you call it because it's just um, the, uh, the label for this text button, or this text box, sorry. And at the moment it says unbound, so what we need to do is give it a control source so we go up back up to the properties box with the unbound uh, with this text box selected. Go up to the control source and select subtotal, and choose the format. In this case, it's currency. And now, if I look at the actual um, database, I'll just save it quickly. If I look at the database and go to the form view, we can see now that we have a subtotal field, and it's adding up or multiplying the cost by the quantity. So three times two is six. Two times two is four. Ten times three is thirty. What we now want to do is work out the total of all these purchases. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the design view and I'm going to just scroll down here and I'm gonna add a form footer. Um, 
the form fit is there, but you just need to drag one down ever so slightly. What we do now, this bit's really easy. We just add another text box, click in it. I'll call this uh, total. And um, I will move them so they are in line with the, the total. Okay. Now, the text box here is unbound. So what we need to do is go to um, the properties box for that. And we want to go to the control source and we're going to click on these three dots again. We're going to write a little formula which is equals sum. And it was... Uh, we have to use the sum of the subtotals. Now I called that, that text, um, sorry, that field subtotal with no spaces. So it's, and it's come up there. Um, so I'm just gonna close it off. So we've got equal sum, open brackets, open square brackets, my name of the field, which is subtotal, close square brackets, close normal brackets, and I click okay. And you'll see it's been put in there. I'm then gonna go back into the view and I now have 40. So what I need to do is go back into the design view and change the format to currency, uh, which is here. Go back to the view and it's worked. Now, little quirky thing, if I change uh, the bikes, for example, to one bike, that says 10, but this doesn't automatically update. If you save the file, um, if I click save, it updates. I want a little, that's not very intuitive, so I'm just going to add a little button that will help me solve that problem. Back to the design view, add a button, click in an area, record operations, save record, next. I'll just use one of the pictures, click next, give it a, a title, so CMD, save booking, CMD for command. Click finish, there's my button. And now what I'll do is I'll go back into this view to test it out. Um, I'm gonna have three bikes again, click save, and it recalculates, and we're done. So that's how you add a sub form. Um, just to recap, you have to create a booking query, or create a, create a query, use the form wizard to um, generate a form with a sub form, remembering to uh, use the correct table for the subform. Uh, use a form with a subform and make it tabular. Then what you want to do is make your adjustments to the field sizes. Then you need to um, modify the query by clicking on the little uh, subform, uh, the little dot in the subform, and going to the properties box. Save the object. Add uh, a new text box to reflect the new field that you've made change the format of it, so I change it to currency. Then you add the total to the uh, footer and make that currency, and then add your little save button. And that's it, that's how you create your subform.